just 180 calories for a cake the size of your head. You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? A wizard. What is up people, welcome back to a new style of video and potentially the start of a new series depending on your response to this, okay? Because the demand has always been there for more than one upload per week, but realistically the science videos and the vlog videos, they take so long to edit and are ultimately like 15 to 20 minutes in themselves. So I thought, seeing as I won't be able to get two of those up per week, why not start a recipe or cooking series alongside them because I can literally bang these out left, right and center. And OGs actually know that. Back in the day, I literally used to do like recipe only videos alongside the science because they do still allow me to provide you value. So let me know if you want this series to continue alongside all of the vlogs. The goal would be to have a huge bank of recipes in a little folder for you to follow, macro-friendly of course. So comment below, hit the like button, and without further ado, let's get started with the first recipe, and this is gonna be an absolute game changer. It's a simple one, but if you're cutting and you like sweet stuff, then this one, you <laughs> literally need to try this, okay? Because it is a white chocolate vanilla cake, which you know, of course, is the size of your head because that's how we work on this channel. So yes, without further ado, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get shopping for the ingredients. And the shop of choice for this one is going to be Tesco's, the motherland numero due. And again, let me know if you like the style where I literally sort of take you to the shop, get the ingredients instead of just staying at home. So yeah, don't get me wrong, it would have been Little or Aldi, but there is one specific ingrediente that we probably can't get there, hence we're here. But anyway, here we go. The first ingrediente, which is going to be a staple, is going to be some eggs. In particular, the egg whites, okay? Now we do have eggs at home, so we're probably not going to pick them up. But while we're in the bacon aisle, this is going to be the game changer that we came to Tesco's for. You probably won't get it in a little cream of tartar. And this is what's gonna give you all kinds of volume. So it interacts with the egg whites. It's used in like meringues and souffles and it just explodes the recipe. So it's different to bicarbonated soda or like baking powder. So we're gonna go for one of these. There is like this one, which is like 195, but then this whole thing here is like 250. So I think for future videos, I'll pick this up. Then for some sort of flavor, you need vanilla extract. They have almond here. So one of those two, but in my opinion, white chocolate flavor drops go far better. And we have those at home. So we're not gonna pick those up, but if you don't have flavor drops, then vanilla extract is pretty good. Then for even more sweetness, we wanna get some Splenda or just any sort of sweetener. But if you know me, I have sucralose from bulk powders at home and that is like 10 times sweeter. So we are gonna use that. But if you don't have that, get a sweetener. So last thing we need to get is toppings and we are gonna go for some squirty cream this time as far as fruit goes i do have strawberries at home so we're not gonna pick them up again but you can go for any berries so blueberries blackberries strawberries and then to top it we're gonna go for some sprinkles so we have like mermaid dr octo ones i think we'll just go for the tesco's colorful sprinkles and there we go family that is the pickup but there is one final ingrediente we cannot forget and that, of course, is going to be some whey protein. Link to bulk powders will be down below. But here we go. We have all of our ingredients. So we have our eggs, our sprinkles, our white chocolate flavor drops. Then we have our cream of tartar, our sucralose down there, our squirty cream, and some blueberries for some toppings. So the next thing to do is make this bad boy. So cue the sexy B-roll and the voiceover in three, two, one. What is good, people? Okay, so I thought to add a bit of entertainment to these videos, I would bring back One Take Kid. You know from my old videos, I used to just do One Take voiceovers. So let's see how we go and let me know if you like One Take Kid. So you're gonna need to preheat the oven to gas mark four or five. Again, in terms of Fahrenheit or Celsius, I have no idea what that is, okay? So then when that preheats, you're gonna go separate your egg whites. Uh, again, I should have just bought them in bulk, but usually I'll buy whole eggs and just separate them. So you need around 200 to 210 grams of egg whites. Normally it comes out as like seven to eight uh, from the whole eggs. And then from there, there you go, some sexy B-roll. You're gonna need this whopper of a machine. It literally looks like it's from the 1960s, but it works perfectly fine. And there are two attachments that it came. So you don't want to use that one that I showed there. You want to use the whiskey one to fluff up the egg whites. So yeah, you add the egg whites to the bowl and then you're going to put uh, the mixer on a very sort of gentle speed at first and get it mixing around like so okay then once it starts to sort of fluff up a bit you're going to increase it here we went to like two three and then you'll see later on it's like up at like level six okay so then while it's mixing 
you're gonna get the spoon it's a little teaspoon again i don't measure it out it's about a teaspoon of the cream of tartar and add that in you can see it's getting nice and fluffy now and then here you also add in either the vanilla drops um, uh, the vanilla essence, the almond essence, or in my case, the white chocolate uh, flavor drops, and the sucralose, of course, just a little bit. If you haven't tried that, it's super sweet and adds such a good um, sweetness to the mix. And then, here we go, like I said, room, turning it up a bit and just mixing it all around, okay? So, after about, I don't know, usually it'll take seven-ish, 10 minutes or so of mixing, it'll come out to this perfect, like, fluffy, consistency and this is the key component here you get your whey protein just about a scoop three quarters of a scoop you add it on top but with the spatula here i <laughs> there we go you want to fold it in nice and gently like so okay if you go too fast and all the air bubbles are just gonna pop and that's just gonna mess up the whole thing so then you get just a non-stick uh, cooking pan this is the one i use for like my sweet potato pie as well and then again slowly put it into the, um, the pan spread it around and then put it into the oven again sort of not at the top it'll just burn but at the bottom or i guess in the middle and um, now in terms of cooking it probably takes well this one took about 15 minutes you want to check it um every i don't know five minutes or so the main goal is to like the sign that it will be cooked is that it'll go uh, brown on top so you can see they're nice and brown and then you can also put like a little toothpick um inside to see if it comes out if it comes out wet then you know it still needs cooking but yeah that is pretty much it the base look at it it comes out super super fluffy again i already know you're gonna like this and it's gonna be like a game changer in terms of if you're cutting and stuff and then of course you add whatever toppings you want we squirted all types of cream on there and then we topped it with some blueberries and then of course the sprinkles look at that that's all folks <laughs> And there we have it, family. Came out beautifully, this whole cake, the size of your head for 180 calories. That's it, 36 grams of protein, five grams of carbs, and just two grams of fat. Obviously the sprinkles and the cream will add to the calories, but still very little, okay? And it's huge. This thing will take you like 15 minutes to eat. So please, please try it out. And you know what, seeing as this is the first installment of what could be a potential series, if you make this, take a picture, tag me in your Instagram stories, and I will pick one winner to give a copy of my recipe book away. But yes, please do try it still nonetheless. Now in terms of making it less calories or more calories, I mean, there are variations you can do. So Okay, for a recipe that has such little ingredients, it's probably gonna come down more to what you put on top. So if you wanna make it lower calorie, just get rid of the whipped cream or use like fat-free whipped cream. But the whole recipe is so low in calorie in itself that if this is causing like a major dent in your overall daily intake, I highly question how much you're eating. <laughs> so yeah, if you're on poverty calories, just stick with like fruit. But if you wanna make it super chocolatey, apart from using chocolate whey, you can like fold in some of this cocoa powder when you're mixing in the whey. Then of course, to top it, you can use some like peanut butter Butter or like cashew nut almond butter or if you have access to it you know that pb2 powder like the powdered peanut butter order some of that and fold that in like the cocoa powder honey is always a good option just drizzled on top and then any sort of spread of course nutella the white chocolates oh oh my days family Familia Italiana, I have never seen this before. The spread gods have shone down. You already know we're gonna pick this up and definitely include it in a future recipe, so stay tuned. Anyway, back to the toppings, okay? So if you wanna add calories, you can use like some proper syrup. So Hershey's chocolate or like some maple syrup. Of course, you can top it with chocolate chips, so white chocolate chips, milk chocolate chips. To add even more protein, you can like top it with some Skyr or like any Greek natural yogurt. If you really wanted another way to add calories, instead of like a sweetener, you could probably use real sugar, so like brown sugar or just caster sugar. Again, likely not the best option for the hashtag health gains. Of course, we cannot forget about adding like a scoop of ice cream, so either haagen if you're perma-bulking, or some Halo Top. It is not a good day, by the way. 5.99 for Halo Top, and even 5.60 for Breyers. But yeah, the take-home message is just be creative. Hopefully, you can use your noggin, but those are a few ideas for you. And that is gonna be a wrap for the video. Short and sweet, just a recipe, and you are in control now whether the series continues. So let me know down below and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will bang these out in between my vlogs. But for now, try out the recipe, tag me in your Instagram stories, the competition is open. But yeah, that's gonna be that. Hope you all have a good day and see you all in the next video. Boop.